everybody welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days it's an overcast day so I'm hoping that you're gonna get enough light coming through to see what I'm working on so I feel today like I want to do something that represents a flower I'm going to be working on a circular piece I'll show you how I've prepped it it is on a board and it is 50 centimeters by 50 centimeters and I have taped all the underneath up so I'm working smart, not hard, and I have made sure that this is all level. I'm going to be doing acrylic priming or undercoat. So what I want to do is give you the vision of depth and grass in the background or a little bit of nature or a field, whatever takes your fancy. So I'm going to be working with Crawford and Black acrylics. I've got a sap green. Virili Viri Viridian, uh, light green, yellow, which is going to help highlight and tone them down. I've got my uh, blue, which will be mixed in with the greens to give some darker greens, and a little bit of burnt umber. So I'm not going to be drawing anything out particular. I just want it to look um, out of focus slightly, and just that little bit of green. Because what I'm going to come do is <laughs> come do. What I am going to come through with is some resin on the top and sculpt some flowers. And believe it or not, I'm going to experiment with some tin foil in there and see if I can create a little bit of texture in there. And I want, I'm curious, is the resin going to stick to it? Is it going to add value? Is it going to help create an illusion of where the petals should be? I really don't know, but that's what I feel like that I want to try this morning. So why don't you come on this journey with me and let's see what we can create. So I've got my brushes here, my water, something to wipe my brush, and just in the corner here you can see, but that's where I'll be mixing my colors. But to start with, I'm just gonna plonk on some acrylics and start brushing. So hopefully this will be a nice relaxing video for you and me. Hopefully we will create some beautiful art, and hopefully I may have inspired you to give it a go and try different things within your art while still trying to keep the integrity of its beauty and simplicity. Have the most amazing day and let's get creative.
Hi, so I have done my base coat of my acrylic, so I had to put it on quite thick to make sure it's going to absorb, uh, ready for when I apply my resin. So what I'm coming in now uh, to do is, I've just cut my tin foil into shapes of what I'm going to construct as petals. I'm leaving them flat for the moment, I'm going to go and put some acrylic paint on them and then crumble them a little bit for texture but hopefully in keeping integrity this is going to be an abstract piece it's not going to look exactly like a flower or petal but i'm hoping when i pour this onto my resin piece it's going to give a different texture or feel look whatever word you want to use so i'm just going to use some of these colors i've got here and just paint them on and see does paint actually stick to the uh, tin foil once i crunch it a little bit is it just going to flake off or is it going to help that when I put paint this um, tin foil, when I put the resin on and if it peeks through, it's going to give you colour as opposed to silver. But I'm not opposed to the silver coming through. So this is a whole experiment. So let's do this together. Where you can see, sorry, hope they're all in frame still. Most likely, we need a little bit of green. The good thing is, here is that I'm testing different colours together, swiping them through, uh, see what looks good together and what doesn't, and possible colours I want to work with for next projects. this to set and see what happens and then come back to this stage and see if I can crumble them. Hello, so while my tin foil is drying, which I've just put acrylic on, hope you can hear me so I'm just starting in the garden. I am going to come back now and I also floated a tiny little glitter, you might not be able to see it. But I'm going to come in with my Peebo mirror leaf because this one to me is all about depth and texture and just experimenting so what I'm going to do is see if I still have my green maybe embellish some of this with some little bits of green um, through here so just really do want to capture a little bit of depth I might come through with a little bit of silver also that way it might complement if any silver comes through let me just take that into consideration is it going to be best to be gold or silver i think i'm going to just go with a little bit of silver i know the gold complements the yellow but i'm thinking if the silver does pop through it's going to complement that so as you can see, I probably need some more silver, probably need some more gold. I've used a lot of it, but uh, all in all, there's still about 60% of it left on the sheets. So I'll just put these to one side. But my green is my main one. And it is just going to be to add a little bit of interest, a little bit of character, 
but I really do like these um, gold leaf mirror effect. A little bit different to just the gold leaf. So I might come back and add a little bit more texture. So while I'm doing this, I'll think of it, but that is what I'm going to be using. And I'm going to apply my mixation aurea leaf. And that takes about uh, between 30 minutes to an hour to dry, depending on um, how warm it is. So I'm just going to apply this on and just go with the feeling. You can see it when it's green when it goes on, which is kind of cool. I'm not going to want to do too much. I'm sort of using the um, the lines that are currently there in the acrylic as a guide. But other than that, there, oh, sorry, it just squirted out. There is no rhyme or reason. Other than where I think. It's going to look good. Bearing in mind the flowers are going to go over this as well. Might be too much what I've just done, but let's see. The good thing is it comes out really thin. And we are going to put resin over that and there is going to be colour as well. So we can always bring it back if we think we've done too much. Alright, so we will know that this is done once it's gone clear. So I will see you on the other side of this. But I am just going to flatten, I think. that part done. Alright so I am coming in here now to do a few more specific lines. Not too much just just to focus on the areas where I have put the silver. This is just all just to continue a little bit of depth but I shouldn't get too carried away with this because I am going over it with resin so it might take a whole different turn.
So now we are off to the fun thing. Whilst this is just finishing drying, it's not got too much longer left to dry. I'm going to start to see if I can sculpt my tin foil flowers. Now don't stress about the colour, I know that the colour is not necessarily the best. It's just an undercoat when I put the acrylic on there. So the interesting thing for me is going to be where am I going to place these two flowers. And obviously I want them to be the centrepiece. So I'm just going to have to slowly crunch them and see where I feel. So I'm just trying to work out where should I crunch them. So I want texture. And that was the whole point of this piece, texture. I need to keep the centre part fairly flat. I need to do it in my hands. But I need it flat enough in a way so it'll stick to the resin. But I just want to create that texture so when I put the resin over it, it might keep a little bit of a shape. And then I've got to work out, do I need more texture on there or not? I'll go with scrunching them and then unscrunching them. Never done this before, so like I said, don't know if this is going to work at all. So I'll ruin it. But I'm going to keep playing with it and giving it a go. Because I want to make sure that they're both going to fit on here size-wise. And then I can maybe mould them into shape once it's on there. But I need them of a flattish consistency, so the resin will stick to them. So they definitely still bend with the acrylic on, and the acrylic is not bouncing off them, which is good. working out what's the best way to get the texture. So the minute I'm just placing them, getting an idea for size, depth, and also how it's going to be, I might decide I'm going to need to build a ridge around my resin so nothing falls off, or maybe come back and do two different levels on it so um, the full uh, piece is absorbed in our resin. Actually, the, the acrylic that I've added to the tin foil has made it a little bit more pliable. Which is kind of cool. So I don't know when I pour the resin on if it's going to stay on this or spill off, but I hope it just gives you that suggestion of where it is that I'm trying to do. The most important goal for this was to see if I can create texture, which is a word I keep saying constantly at the minute. Okay, so the moment of truth, if I apply resin over the top of this, what am I going to get? And that's the exciting part. So envisage clear, colour, green, and a little bit of brown. 
let's see if this is going to work. Just not 100% happy with this part here.
right, time to tidy up and check for any bits. Okay, so I have just finished on this. This is not how I imagined this piece going uh, from a look point of view, but a feeling, absolutely. I did want a flower piece. I just was gonna use my foil to create texture, but when I put it on, it didn't like what it was doing and I didn't wanna waste the resin or the board. So I stripped it off and kept with my groovy theme, but I absolutely love this piece. It's quite yummy. <laughs> it reminds me of something of either Charlie and the Chocolate Factory or Chitty Chitty Bam Bam with the lollies. Um, so there's a there's a mixture here between the acrylic and the resin, but I actually quite like it. So I'm gonna take you in and we will go to as near the top left as you can on a resin piece. I don't know if you'll be able to see the glitter sparkling through, but I'm not able to pick it up and show you the different contrast because it is super wet still. Going up the middle. It just looks so vibrant and happy and I don't know, like Spanish or Mexican, got no idea, but I just love it. I dig it, ma'am. So I'll show you to the left angle and to the right. And I will, obviously once it's dry, bring you in and show you what this looks like. But I think you have to agree, this is a happy, happy piece. I absolutely love this. It's still with my groovy, vi groovy vibe, but OMG, this looks edible. It reminds me of something from Charlie and the Fo Chocolate Factory. <laughs> Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I love the depth of the leaves behind. I love the colours. I love the weirdness of this. It's still with that groovy theme, but. I just, it just reminds me of the colours are just like, look so tasty, which is, sounds bizarre, but it's just something that I absolutely love. What I love is the colour that just pops. I'm going to stand this up and see if you get any better value in seeing it here, but if you look, you'll see, hopefully, some glitter. Hello, there's me. Um... You'll see the foil underneath, and hopefully you'll see the depth in the, see that's the foil, I've done that. You'll see the depth and just the tone. So I'm just gonna pick it up, oh, just tilt it around, see if you can see it. Maybe not, maybe I had it in a better angle to start with, but there's just some beautiful, oh, I see that little bit of shine there. I just love it, did not intend it. To be like this super happy with it the foils i will go back and use foils i think in resin art but not to try and collect a specific image i think for me if i'm going to use it for texture and to add depth or something to the picture i think it's just going to be an organic pore that will go on it and not a precise area because you're going to struggle with the leakages that i did so i'm not giving up on the idea but i love this challenge I love what I've done here. So remember, thumbs up, subscribe, comments always welcome, share my art where possible. And remember, if you want to know any of my products, click on the description. And if you do, click on those links. Wow, that's just beautiful there. And go to Amazon, a small percent of what you're buying will go to the artist it won't cost you any more money but it will help me support uh, spon oh god support my channel and if you do want to sponsor my channel there is information in my uh, link and also by watching the adverts a little bit of that money goes towards the artists in their channel but other than that have the most amazing evening and remember to be in a world of pure imagination just so reminds me of a scene it should belong in charlie and the chocolate factory anyway get your groove on play with color have some fun see you on the next video